Hello folks, let's get you started with your desired video recording made easier with vMaker. Head over to vMaker.com to begin signing up. Use your email ID, official or personal, to sign up. Oh hey, you can sign up using Facebook or Google as well. Remember, this email ID will be crucial for all your future sign-ins and interactions. Now to download the app, click on the Download vMaker button that you can't miss. This is going to prompt you with choices, download vMaker for Mac or Windows. Select your operating system and wait for the download to begin. Drum your table till the download completes. 100 megabytes is a test of your internet speed. Once it's downloaded, click open the downloaded setup file. Mac users, add the vMaker app to your applications. Windows users, allow install and sit back. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's launch vMaker. First things first, let's get the basics out of the way with your enthusiastic yes to use your camera, microphone, and to record your screen. It's a blanket permission for as long as you use this downloaded version. These permissions make sure that you can use vMaker extensively and run it optimally. Now that permissions are sorted, we start by setting up your profile. We hope you remember your login credentials because it's login time. Once you've logged in, we get the first look of vMaker. Before we jump into the recording part, we're going to walk you through your profile and preferences. Bear with us for just a bit. Let's go from the top of your screen. In the right corner, next to the menu, is your profile picture. If you find the familiar gray bubble, you can always set your display picture. Usually it's borrowed from the email's profile picture that you have. Adjacent to that is your workspace, named Name of Workspace. Now, pay attention here. While you're here in vMaker, your workspaces are your teams. You can be a part of multiple teams, and there's absolute privacy from each other. When you record under Workspace A, you won't be able to upload to Workspace B, so be mindful of that. Save time. Then we have the familiar menu option. It throws up more options, like always. Let's take a quick look at the menu options. Looking at the menu, what can we do here? Clicking on Sign Out lets you leave the app with no data, while Quit vMaker closes the app. This option here checks and lets you know if your app is up to date. The Quick Tour explains the app. My Videos would take you to your dashboard. Last but not least, Preferences helps you customize more. In this menu, you can change your camera, especially if you want to use a webcam or other devices, and the same goes for audio between headset and microphone. We give you six options to choose your recording quality from. If you have paid plans, 4K HD, 1440p HD, 1080p HD, and 720p can be used. You can choose from 480p and 360p at any time. Enable the countdown timer to get a heads up before recording. Highlight mouse clicks, a premium feature, pops a bubble over the mouse whenever there's a mouse click. Enabling Flip Camera would help you toggle between mirror imaging and inverted mirror. By enabling the Show Control menu, you can view the Pause, Mute, and Cancel options on the left side of the screen when you record the video. Enable the Next option to record in mono or to cancel background noises. Enabling DND would prevent any notifications from popping up while recording, be it email pop-ups or any other alerts that you have set. Enable Dock icon to view vMaker app in the system tray, and allow launching vMaker at startup if you want to log in faster. We recommend you have Auto Update enabled, since vMaker is an evolving app and frequent updates are planned to enhance your experience. We'll circle back there towards the end. Now let's explore the recording options. Here comes the most exciting part of vMaker. Never miss out on any of your meetings. Now you can schedule vMaker to record your meetings at a specific time. And this is quite easy and straightforward. Right here on the launch screen of the app, you can click on the schedule option, give your schedule a name, and mention the time you want the recording to start and end. You can also choose to get a confirmation to start recording five minutes before the scheduled time. Or, this entire process could be delegated to our friendly dog, Max. Send your meeting invite to heymax at vmaker.com. Max is smart. He can get the recording scheduled for you so that you don't miss out on the meeting. 
This is exciting. Yes, what you see here are all the options you can use to record using vMaker. As promised, we give you three options. One to just record your screen, then to just record your camera, and finally to record both. The highlighted option is your choice. In this tutorial, we're going to explore both the screen and cam option. If you don't want to show your live feed, no worries, switch to static picture. We'll show you how. Next comes the question of what do you want to record? Your entire screen? Just a window, perhaps? Or go pro and use the custom dimensions? The green tick indicates your choice, and for the time being, we go with the window. To begin, hit the Start Recording. The countdown is ticked on, and you go on record with a pop. We couldn't help but add a bit of pizzazz. OK, now the recording has begun. Now we look at the larger options all the way here onto the sides of the screen. This red button here not only stops the recording, but also instantly uploads it online. This is the pause button. Remember to click on it again to restart your recording. Let's suppose you want to cancel the video recording. You click on this camera option. It stops the recording and it doesn't upload it to the cloud. If you want to add an oomph factor to your recording or simply break down a complex screen that you're explaining, we have a couple of features just for you. You can now draw on the screen, essentially using it as a whiteboard, or highlight sections to draw attention easily. We also have a range of colors to help the markings stand out against any background. Be picky and have fun with freeform drawing, too. This concludes everything you need to know while recording, so we're going to go ahead and click the red button over here. Poof! It's getting uploaded online to vMaker's cloud. Now comes the post-production. Moving on to the browser, let's see what's in store. All right, so here's the uploaded video. Below, you can see the date stamp and the name of the creator. The basic stuff. Rename the video to your desired name for the recording. All you have to do is click and type. Adjacent to that are four options. The delete option removes it permanently, so use it cautiously. Using the duplicate option, you can create a second copy. It comes in handy if you're feeling particularly experimental and don't want to affect your work, or just to create a backup. The next option is edit, but we'll come there in a moment. If you're looking to download, this is what you do. Upload it to YouTube, social media, or elsewhere to your convenience. But if you want to share your video as a link, copy it here and share it away. The video will be on the cloud. If you want to share it as an email, select this option. We'll take you to the page where you can mail it away. Type in the to address and it's sent. Here's an option for those who want to keep the video live for only a little while. All you do is select and set the time. After that, poof, it goes away. Perhaps it's best if you duplicate your video before checking this option, huh? Now let's go to the edits. Rub your hands together as the page opens up. We've got pro options for you on a platter. Below is the time slider. It can mute audio entirely. We also have an undo option in the top bar, and right next to it is the copy option. We've spared you the worry of having to click save every time. All of your changes are auto-saved, and you can always download your video at any point in time. When you roll over to the video, you see more options. Trim, merge, swap, flip, etc. You can use these to enhance and edit your video. So going back to the page, we'll now explore the dashboard. Let's take a quick peek in the dashboard, the place where all your uploaded videos are saved. To keep things tidy with less need to search, you can put them into folders to segregate it by day, project, etc. This option on the top will help you create new folders. Give it a name in the pop-up, and there you go, a folder is created. By default, your videos will be uploaded to the dashboard. You can put them into folders by dragging and dropping them. The next option in your dashboard is My Team. This page shows the admins of your team. Now, if you're an admin, you obviously have more options. You can invite new members and give them member or admin access. You have the option to rename the workspace, too. Here is where we need to pause and talk about workspaces. 
When you work with multiple teams, you probably won't want to upload and share all your interactions in one place. So we give you the option to create new workspaces or entire teams. You can be a part of multiple teams. How do you do that, you might wonder? Select the menu. You'll find the current workspace that you're in, and by default, it will read as your first name's workspace number. As the last option, there's Create Workspace. If you select that, you're taken to the My Teams page again, but here you're creating a new team. If you want to switch across workspaces, you can select them from the dropdown. It's important to remember to be careful about the workspace you're working on. In your app, your current workspace is displayed at the top. If you want to switch across workspaces, you can select them from the dropdown. It's important to remember to be careful about the workspace you're working on. In your app, your current workspace is displayed at the top. If you want to switch workspaces on your app, all you need to do is click on the menu, scroll down, and change. One last trip to explore the menu on your browser. In the top corner, click on your display image or gray human bubble. Let's explore account settings. The Edit Profile tab can flip your picture, update your personal details like name, company name, address, and profession. After you make your changes, remember to save them. Your setting tab gives you a host of other options. Come here to change your email ID and password, or if you want to switch between English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Allow email notifications to get updates and mails from us. For workspace management, which includes deleting teams, feel free to reach out to us and we'll help you. You can also create new teams from here, which takes you to the My Teams page. Finally, you can choose to delete your account permanently, but all your uploads will be lost once you do that. The last tab is Authentication. Since the recordings often contain sensitive data, we want your account to be secure. Once you enable this, you will need to scan the barcode using Google Authenticator to key in your code. If you're already dazzled by the free features and want to explore our pro version, it's simple. You can do that at the touch of a mouse click. Head over to Menu and select My Plans to display them. By default, we offer you a free plan with unlimited recording and uploads. Yes, that's right, unlimited. Through the free version, But our Starter, Pro, and Enterprise user plans come with a host of other benefits, right from the quality of videos, collaboration options, and much more that you can scroll down and understand better. Or better yet, have us call you. Do you see how easy it is to use vMaker? We're here to help with any of your queries, and more importantly, we'd love to hear your feedback. We hope you enjoy using vMaker as much as we did creating it. Welcome to the world of easy communication.